If you're not making video after this, you just don't want to. What's up socials, exciting news out of Adobe today. They have come out with an amazing web client. That's what I said, web client, that is gonna help you make video, like really easily and like in a couple of minutes. Even cooler is that it's also gonna help you make Instagram posts and Facebook updates and things like that, all the fun visual things. But the fact that there is a video feature of this is what blew my mind. So I wanted to make a video for you so that you could see a first look at Adobe Spark. Let's go take a look. Okay, we are at spark.adobe.com and this is absolutely huge. I mean, first of all, I think there's a few options to note here. I am gonna focus on the video side of things, but this could certainly be your photo editor for Instagram or Pinterest or just a quick update on Facebook and Twitter because they also have great photo editing options. So I'm just gonna dive in here. This is a free tool, guys. Like, I'm paying for the Adobe Suite, but None of this, I, I do have a login for Adobe ID, but I'm just gonna use a standard login here and uh, go from there because I wanna show you that it is free. It has nothing to do with having an Adobe account. And so here we are, You, uh, I think I got a different prompt when I logged in the first time, but essentially it was this button here. What would you like to create? You can create a social post or graphic. You can create a page mm -hmm. for a web story. And what we're gonna focus on in this video is video, of course, because it is absolutely incredible what they are offering you here in order to create a video really fast. And I'm gonna talk to you about why I think it's, Pretty groundbreaking. So this is just a fancy way of asking what your title is. So I'm gonna say Amy's first spark and go from here. Now they're gonna help you build out a template. So you're really not even starting from scratch. They wanna give you the best fit. So what is your video about? Are you promoting an idea? Are you telling something that happened? Your vacation, a celebration, the hero's journey, show and tell, personal growth, um, we got some more over here. Teach a lesson, an invitation, make up my own, and there's the, the one at the end. But they really make this accessible for people who just want to make a video but don't know how to do it. And this is a web-based client. So let's just go with tell what happened. Let's tell a story here. Pick this one. I just, this user experience is off the chain. Like, I cannot even get over this right now, you guys. Okay, so here is the interface we're dealing with. As you can see here on the side, you're given some themes. If you tab over here, we've got music. Hello, big question I get, where do I get music I can use? Here we are. Um, and a couple of different layout options. Keep it simple, keep it really simple. Choose one of these themes that suits you if you like this watercolor and you're essentially just going to be prompted for each slide of the video. I mean think about it as a little bit of a PowerPoint slideshow. This is an opportunity for you to make video simpler but it's going to be impactful as well because you're not worried about is the camera just right or how do I overlay text on this, etc. If the point is to just get a concept out there in video form, which is huge for Facebook because a lot of time, and I just read a metric yesterday that said 80% of videos being played on Facebook are zero audio because they're just playing in the feed. So here, if having somebody on camera is not important, like it would be on Facebook, use these options to just get your story out there in a different way. So there's a couple of different things here you can choose from, text, photo, and icon. Let's take a look at icon. So maybe um, we just need to type in a keyword here. So you've got a bunch of icons to choose from if you're looking for a bell. Pop the bell in there. It fits with the theme. How gorgeous is that? I'm literally doing this for the first time, guys. This is a first look, a true first look. Let's go to the next one. Okay, we're gonna pop a photo in. Find your photos. You can pull in photos from the cloud if you have a cloud account. Lightroom, if you're doing Lightroom, Dropbox. Google Photos, of course. Google Photos has definitely been a little bit more recently used from what I've seen, so maybe that's your client that you prefer. 
great options here. You can upload, of course, as well. And then if you want to do text, of course, you can just type some text. So, hey, there is a bell. <laughs> Maybe the story is about finding a bell somewhere. That's cool. Uh, so let's see. We have some options, I'm sure, uh, for this text. Oh, we're back with our, th our theme there. Um, so very cool. I mean, it looks like, oh, it's trying to toggle back and forth between you editing it and actually having the, the theme in there. How cool is that? That's incredible. All the, obviously, you can have voiceover, so audio is a good thing but maybe you can tell your story without video and audio will enhance the experience so it's not just a bunch of words on the screen too. There are people that listen to video as well, especially on Facebook, but you just have to have such a compelling story happening here that somebody turns that option on. So there's something there. This is very simplistic, and this is not going to be the end-all be-all for video, but what this first look is saying, it's you can accomplish video with the resources available to you at the current state of the internet. This is Adobe. Adobe is an expensive product, and they are offering this for free. In addition to the other Adobe Spark options like a post or a page for your website, Imagine that you can create all these assets without paying for an editor. And then we have a preview happening with some basic animation that they've integrated into the theme. And of course, these are all the blank slides. But how incredible is that? You're going to share this video and uh, download it. Ideally, there you go, download, and then you're going to post it to Facebook. You can save it in your archives. And I believe they are also going to have a mobile option for this. I don't know for a fact that that is paid or unpaid. So more to explore there, but this is the first look at making a video with Adobe Spark. Very exciting news for those of us who are not necessarily video editors. And even if we are, we can hammer out a video in however long this video was. Can you believe how fast that is? It's incredible. So go check out spark.adobe.com right now. Oh my gosh, is that insane or what? If you cannot make a video after this, then why? What? Are you serious? This is going to be so huge for Facebook because with there being very few and far between opportunities for somebody to not only be watching your video, but hearing it, this really helps you focus on the visual aspect of that. And it might actually do better for you organically if it is one that is more reliant on what's happening visually. If there are not cool things going on to grab someone's attention in a video, it's not going to do well on Facebook. So this is a great tool for you to improve that and also take advantage of the fact that videos do so well there all on their own. Definitely something to consider if you are working on your video presence. Probably a good compliment if you're already doing these types of videos. But if you're just getting started and you haven't picked up a camera yet, this might be the thing that will get you moving. More to come, I'm sure, as we learn more about Adobe Spark, so stay tuned. If you're working on your video presence, whether you've gotten started or not, and love the idea of tools like this, but also wanna do other things to get better, I highly recommend you check out 30 Days to Better Vlogging. We are approaching a 1,000 people in this group and people are loving the guide. So I hope that you'll go check it out. Link in the description. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always, and I'll see you on the next one.